Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create our very own first C program. This program is going to be called Hello World. In a lot of languages, we use the Hello World example as the first core basic program to illustrate just the basic functionality of a given software language. So in today's lesson, we're going to start off by using code blocks. So if we open code blocks, you will see this interface. So at the top, you will see it's very basic, the same as any normal application. You'll see this file, edit, view, and so forth. The top pane there, you will see this open, save, copy and paste, and some other things that we're going to look at later. In the middle is where our code is going to be. And at the bottom, it's logs and others. Logs and others is going to be like the program telling us what's wrong with the program and what's to be expected, not the output per se. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to new file. We're going to create a new empty file. And now we can actually start program. But before we start program, we need to save this file in the correct format so that the computer actually knows what to do with this given file. So we're going to save this file onto our desktop and I'm going to call this file hello world and with an extension of .c. So this extension .c just tells the computer that the computer can expect a C program. Okay, so we're going to save this file and there we go, we can start programming. So the first line of code is very, very important. The first line of code is hash include std io.h and std io.h is encapsulated into um, brackets that's bigger than and smaller than size. Okay, so what's this line of code? Hash include just tells the, comp um, the compiler to include a certain thing. And what's going to be included is the standard and input and output library. Now this library gives us the basic functionality of a C program. Let's say for instance to output something to the screen or to get something from the screen and so forth. Let's take a quick example. Let's say a um, hundred years back, the person that created the first motor vehicle, Mr. Henry Ford, when he created the vehicle, he didn't go and design or redesign the wheel. He took that from a previous knowledge and incorporated it into the motor vehicle design. So he didn't redesign everything from scratch. And that's the same way we're going to use C programming. We're not going to just redesign each and everything from scratch. We're going to incorporate, let's say, for instance, the stdio.h library. Continuing from the library, we're going to create our own main function. So the main function is important because this is going to be the place wherein everything is going to reside. Our main code is going to reside. You will see we say in main void. Int is the integer, integer data type, type. That's going to be the return value of the main function. Main is the actual name. Void inside the round brackets is just the parameters that the main fun function can expect and that parameters is nothing. Void means nothing. And then we start the main function with open and close curly brackets. Open and close curly brackets will be used throughout the programming with different structures and so on. So you will see that quite often. So then we will start with our main function. At the end of the main function, we will say return zero. Now return zero actually tells the computer at the end of this program that the program ended successfully. So after we have actually told the computer that the program ended successfully, 
we are actually done with the main structure of our program. But as we can see, this program will not do much. It includes a library, the standard input and output library. We create a container-like function that's been going to be called the main function. And then at the end of the main function, we tell the computer, computer that the program ended successfully, but nothing actually else happened. So let's give some output to the user. And how we would do that is by using printf. Now printf is a statement or function that resides in the standard input and output library that we can actually utilize to give some output to the user. So we use the printf statement by using round brackets at the end and a semicolon. And in double inverted commas, we can actually give some output and we can say hello world exclamation mark and that ladies and gentlemen is how we actually give some output to the user please also note that any normal line in programming in c programming in server semicolon very important your program will not compile with a semicolon at every normal line of code after that we can go and save our program and we can actually press the build and run button so if we press it you will see there's some output in the logs and others and then automatically terminal in my case or if you're using windows command prompt will open and it will display hello world somewhere in the text so if, if we can quickly look there you will see hello world hello world is our output but it's now fused in a lot of other output that's part of terminal or command prompt in your case maybe and we need to sometimes split this so that we can actually see exactly what's going on so what we would do is we are going to use new lines now a new line is not the case like a normal character we can just say if we want to say a we can just use the, the letter a we need to have a certain um, name for a new line and what we call those names is escape sequences so for certain things we use escape sequences like for instance new lines for a new line we use backslash in backslash in represents a new line so if we insert backslash in and we run you will see that hello world is on its own line and we can safely see that the correct output is presented in terminal or command prompt and that's it that's our hello world application using c programming thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon